Uh, what do you think about the shirt for tonight, huh? Put a little punk rock into this passion. <laughs> like Didi Ramon would do. Kick it, Didi. One, two, three, four. Say hey, connectors. DK here. Hope you're having a great day, afternoon, evening. Kind of have a great whenever you're watching this moment. Have a great that. I wasn't sure exactly what I was going to talk about, but I just came from a meeting of a group of community activators. And I say that intentionally because they're not activists, they're not heads of organizations, they're 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 good people that just want their community to be strong. And from there, I got inspired to talk a little bit today about activation. So not necessarily action or activism, but activation. And what does that mean for us in the connection economy? So let's do this. So first and foremost, I should probably define what I mean by activation and why I think that is so important. And funny you should ask, and thank you for asking. Activation to me is the key and focal point for all of our organizations, whether you are .com, .org, .edu, or .gov. Activation is the moment that your ideas, your passions, your beliefs, your goods, your services move away from you as the internal and the push and gets to the external and the pull. That's where your customers and clients, your family and your friends say, Ooh, I want some of that. Ooh, I love that service. Ooh, I want to be a part of that event. It's the going from the push to the pull, the activation. The second part of activation is just as important, and that is the pivot and share. So the push is from you, the pull goes to the client or customer, and the pivot and share goes out to everybody else. That's what I mean by activation. So how do we get there? Well, for me, how you get there is by the story, storytelling. You have to have a compelling reason for somebody to move on your behalf. And that compelling reason lies in your story. So you can live your life digging up data, statistics, pie graphs and charts, and all these things. The bells and whistles of organizations very often are living and breathing by their annual report, their website, and all these things. And they're important. I don't mean to downplay them. But the guts of what we're talking about the most important part of what you can do as an organization, again, whether you are a .com, a .org, a .edu, or .gov, is the story that you tell and the impact of that story on a person. That's what's gonna cause activation. So whenever you're talking about your marketing plan, your communications plan, your board building, anything within your organization, it should begin and end with the story. What is the story? What is the compelling story? What is the strength of story? What is the thing that's gonna move somebody and move them to activation. So very often I get this to organizations and they say, you know what, we're working on this. We are working on our elevator speech. That's right, we're gonna get this down to a nice nice chunk of a, of a two, three minute compelling story that we're gonna make all of our board members and stakeholders memorize. Psst. Let me ask you something. Have you been in an elevator with someone and used an elevator speech? Have you ever used your elevator speech word for word? <laughs> so as you probably can tell, I'm not a big fan of the elevator speech. Why? Because you'll spend an enormous amount of time, a ridiculous amount of time in your committees and your board meetings and staff meetings crafting this amazing message, which, let's be fair, nobody will use. Now, this is more of a non-profiteer thing, I understand, so my social enterprisers and .edus and .govs, you might not have as much of this, but in the, in the non-profit world, uh, this is a big thing that constantly happens, where we are so much into the crafting of this message that we don't sit back and realize we're not using it. And, let's be fair, we're not using it because nobody talks that way. What we do is we tell our story from us, inside out. Okay, Mr. Long-Haired Smarty Pants, what do you mean by that? What are we supposed to do? Be you. Be you. Just be you. 
Here's the big thing, and here's the truth of it. If you're talking to me, we probably either have a strong relationship, are building a relationship, or you have fostered a relationship with me. So I'm talking to you. I want to know your story based on the organization. Again, whether you're in education, whether you're in government, whether you're in the nonprofit sector, or whether you are a small business person looking for investors or VCs, or just to partner up with another business, B2B. I want to know your story. That's why I'm talking to you. So some of my friends in the consulting business will tell you that, well, wait a minute now, um, having this sort of uh, sales proposition or having, having this sort of value statement is important. Believe me, I dig having value statements. If you don't know about your why, you have a lot of things you got to work on. You have to find your why. So to be clear, I am not talking about value statements and things like that. They are important. What I'm talking about is to make somebody activate, to get this activation. I don't need it because you have memorized a four or five line thing, which you're going to inject onto me and say, here you go, let that run through you and then you'll know what to do. This isn't about that kind of movement. The movement that I'm looking for, the movement that I'm expecting is a movement of the heart, of passion, of head, heart, and soul. And where am I going to get that? I'm going to get that from you. I'm going to get that from your story. Don't be ashamed to tell the story that is you. You want me to support your organization? You want me to support your nonprofit and its movement and its passion and its purpose? Well, why do you? Tell me how you got involved. Tell me your connection to this organization and why you think your connection is meaningful to you. I'll translate that into what we are and that'll make an activation. That'll make me say, I want to be a part of it. I want to learn more. How can I get involved? You will turn the conversation from, hey, here I am, the person with all the information. Let me just spout this on to you. And you'll make the conversation a story from you and a reaction from the person saying, what can I do? That's it. So get out there. Tell your story. Tell it from your personal perspective why you support this organization, why you started your business, why you got into education, why are you in public service? Tell your why from your personal story and you'll make things happen. See you soon. Congratulations to my sister Jessica Logan and her new hubby Brett. Hey Brett, welcome to the family.